Phillips been trailing during the line? Thank you. I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. I found this morning's paper that you had a toothache. Oh, I just had a little filling came out. Uh-huh. Well, I tried to get you the other day, and you, all the lines were busy, and I abandoned it. Well, I've been... I, I've been very busy going over the state. Yeah. And uh, I'm proud to say that uh, our section of the country uh, went well for you, except I was disappointed in the audience. Yeah. You know, in, that, in 185, 60,000 votes, uh, you, you top gold water by only uh, barely 1,000 votes. I'll be done. In my own parish, uh, Turbone, we topped that two times as much. I'll be done. The third district uh, went for you almost uh, your, your national average. That's uh, where I live. That's good. Well, that's wonderful, Alan. Uh, I'm sure glad I didn't well, know I was a state broker. I tell you that northern part, as well as the Florida parishes, you know, the yeah. Negro question was very yeah. dominant. Uh, That's right. And I, yeah. I can understand it. I knew it was awfully yeah. near impossible. But I was really disappointed uh, in Orleans Parish, where I uh, talked to Boggs the day before the election. He said everything was honky dory But it didn't turn out that way. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know what caused it. Well, we'll just have to work on them. Well, I hope that you take a good rest and that no. you don't uh, rush yourself into more work until January. I'm not. I'm going to take it a little easy. I wish you would. I'm going to take it a little easy, my and friend. If there's anything I could do to give assistance on your foreign policy, I'd like to talk to you sometime All about right. it. And, All right. We'll, know, this, we'll, this, we'll this, sit this down. It's pretty rough. Yeah, we'll sit down. What do you think we ought to do in Vietnam? Well, if it were left to me, if I... As I said on many occasions, uh, it's my belief uh, that this is more of a civil war than anything else. It has been that way for the past seven, eight years. And uh, there were a lot of dissidents that grew up there. And uh, uh, in my estimation, uh, DM, of course, didn't try to take care of, of those two pockets that gave us the, the, the great trouble we, we, we had later. Now, of course, uh, <clears throat> I've got all my reports, uh, Lyndon. I I'd like to go with, with it over you personally when I have a chance. All right. Before anything is done there, because right. it's going to be another second career, you know, and, 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 and our army people tell us we can't get out of there now. We've got to stay there, and we're, we're spending quite a bit of money there, as you know, and sustaining two divisions there, and if we don't mine out, we'll have another, uh, another second career in, uh, in South Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, I, I pray to that. Yeah, and, and another thing, uh, Lyndon, is the strike. I noticed where Rusk is in uh, Western Europe with the NATO. I, I believe we've been we've been a little too liberal there, and we ought to we ought to try to make our allies uh, a, a little more conscious of what they ought to do before we go away from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now those are things uh, I don't want to bother with them now, but I've I've studied that carefully. I've been on the ground. I know what I'm talking about. I think. And uh, as I've told you two or three times, I think we have entirely too many military missions abroad. These military missions, you know, keep things stirred up, and uh, it's my belief that, that you could save money there and, uh, and help out a lot. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll get together when we get back. Okay, and... Th uh, thank you for calling me. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I sure enjoyed seeing your grandson, Tyler. Well, I, I tell you, they're very proud of that. Well, yeah, I, enjoy, boys, I, enjoy, I enjoyed being with them. We're going out fishing this afternoon. Well, good luck to you. Good. Bye. Bye. Bye.